Hi everyone, I'm excited to do this tutorial for Safari on how to make a source sheet or text sheet. Uh, this is an important part of teaching uh, Jewish text or exploring Jewish text for yourself, creating a collection of texts, and we're going to learn how to do that today. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make an account with Safari, or if you already have an account to log in, you might find yourself on this, the home page, or perhaps you might find yourself on this, the library texts page. Either way, uh, once you've logged in, all you have to do is click this little person here, the top right corner, so bring you to the accounts page. Once there, you click the sheets page, which will get you to all of the sheets you might have made. Now, I have a bunch of sheets here already. You might not have them, that's okay. All you're gonna do is click this create a source sheet button. There, your text sheet will be created and you've made a source sheet, way to go. But of course, we're not done yet because we don't have any sources on here and we haven't figured out how to share it yet, but we're gonna get through both of those things. So you're gonna click this button here to search for a text or you can browse sources. So for, ex for this example, we're gonna use the first verses of the different books of the Torah. So we'll browse so sources and you can see all sorts of options are here. You click Tanakh, Torah, since that's our example, and then Genesis, chapter one. And you can click and you can even drag to select more than one source. So we're just gonna select the first one, hit okay, and there it goes. We have now added our first source to our source sheet. Now, as a general rule, I like to change the uh, names of God to something where the sheet can be recycled afterwards. So you go to Format Divine Names, and then you have a bunch of options here. I happen to like the one with the hay and chuk chick. That works best for me. But I think it's good practice to uh, get in the habit of doing that really early so that when you print it, it's not uh, something other than what you want. So we've now created our first source sheet, first source on our source sheet, and now we're gonna add another source. We're gonna use this search functionality to add a source. Now, Hebrew words, uh, when transliterated, come up in lots of different ways. Now you can type in a Hebrew source, like this, where we use Shemot as an example, and it will, offer a bunch of options. But not everyone can type Hebrew on their computer so easily. So let's say we wanna use Exodus chapter one, but you wanna type it in the Hebrew because that's what comes to you first. Or you're using another source where you don't know it's English translation or it doesn't have one. You might type it Shmot with an S-H-M or an E-M. Either way, Safari is smart enough to know what you mean. And so either way, uh, one good policy is to, once you started to type something, is to click the thing you uh, are referring to. Make sure that you and Safari are speaking the same language. And then you just start typing in the chapter. Now, if I wanted to add the whole chapter, I could, but I don't. I want to type in the first verse, and there it is, the first verse of Shmot. But let's say I actually want the first couple of verses. I can just type in the range of verses, and there it is, add source. We've now added two sources to our source sheet, and we are just about ready to move forward. An important piece is to name your source sheet. You can always change it. So let's type that in now. You can hit Command A, Control A, or just highlight everything, and type in your title. The first verses of the books of the Torah. That's what I wanna call mine. You just click out. And we wanna make sure we don't lose our work. So we're gonna hit this save button in the top right. Make sure we don't lose our work and it saved it. You know it's saved because it says last saved right here, as well as it says source sheet by and more info right here in the middle. Now we can continue to add sources. So let's say I wanna add the first verses of Leviticus. I can still do that. Once I'm ready and I'm completed, I've completed my source sheet, I'm going to hit one of two things. I'm gonna start off with the share button, which will allow me to either write a summary, add tags, make it searchable on Safari. So if I click this, it's now on Safari. 
We're gonna turn that off for now because you may not be ready for that. You can add it to a group. But the key here is this link. This link will direct people to your source sheet. And you can provide the per people who have that link the ability to view, add sources, or edit the sources that are there already. We're gonna leave it as view for now since I think that's the way most people use it. And then hit save. Now you can see that uh, the other option might be if you go into file, you can export it to Google Drive, which I find really useful. I like to edit my sources in Google Docs. Helps me save them in a place that's accessible for me. I can also print them. If I click print, I can actually print the sheet directly. In this case, I have it as save as PDF. And it provides this footer about Safari source sheet builder, which is great. And I can print it right now if I really wanted to. Now you've now thought of, there are three ways we've now identified a ways for you to share your newly created source sheet. There are of course other ways to add sources to your sheet, but I think this is a good place to start. I wish you good luck in your source sheet creation journey.